Hi guys, it's Betty here. I just wanted to do a quick share of the card that I made for the summer online card camp with Christina Werner and Jennifer McGuire. This is the color combo for week two. Um, try to flash that up on the screen, otherwise it will be on my blog at MPLS. B-E-T-T-Y dot blogspot dot com. Um, and I watched a Ustream with Laurel from NJ um, on Sunday, and she actually showed this faux bleach technique. Um, Laurel's YouTube channel is Scotia, S-C-O-T-I-A 9338, um, and she, she showed how to use alcohol inks on, um, on glossy paper and then to do an iron off, you know, after I'm bassing an image. So it's kind of a cool technique. I wanted to try it. And um, so I started out and I used a stamp. This is from um, a Stampin' Up set. Uh, I think it's Just Believe. And I stamped this on the glossy cardstock um, with my Versamark ink. And then I um, used some Martha Stewart Crystal, which is a clear embossing powder and emboss that. Then I took my alcohol inks in the citrus, you can see that, citrus and watermelon and just kind of dabbed them all over the entire image including the embossed area. So the whole image was covered with these colors and then I went ahead and placed another sheet of regular cardstock. It wasn't the glossy. This is just a Stampin' Up sheet of paper. Put that over the image and used a craft iron. And the cool thing is it irons off a portion. So you actually end up with two, two card fronts, really. And I haven't done anything with this one yet, but I certainly could. And so it removes this, so this area is all white where you had embossed it, but then you still have the cool background with the alcohol ink. So, um, you know, I don't know how it would work. I just, I like the effect that it has. I'm sure you could emboss over, you know, your alcohol ink with um, a, a white, you know, image too, but I, I just thought it was really cool. And then I took some just mounted on um, Stampin' Up's Whisper White and then their pear pizzazz and then these butterflies um, I used some Spice Marigold Gold Distress Ink and distressed some cream paper and then I ran them through the Stampin' Up Sizzix dye. I love this. I just just got it. It's the um, Emboss Lit's Beautiful Wings. So that's where I got my little butterflies. So I thought that was a fun project and um, just a neat new technique to try. I do not use my alcohol inks enough, so um, I wanted to get those out and try it. So please check out my blog and you know leave comments as well as subscribe. And I will be doing. I just did a giveaway that ended July 4th at midnight, so I am going to be doing that drawing here shortly, and we'll have another video up. But um, thanks for watching. Bye.